Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Missy Elizabeth, and I'm a children's librarian here at Akron Main Library. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to our band today. This is part of our Mind, Body, and Soul Summer Performer Series. And before we get started, I just wanted to remind you, we also have our summer reading program going on right now. It goes on through July 31st, and you can register online at akronlibrary.org or stop into one of our branches, and we'll be happy to see you and sign you up there. Now, for our presentation, we have, please welcome, Alex Simon and friends. Hey, what's up? Good afternoon, everybody here at the main library in Akron, Ohio. It's great to be back here. How's everybody doing out there? Give yourselves a round of applause. I see you guys. I hear you guys clapping there at home. Everybody watch right now. Thank you so much to the Akron Library for having me back. I love, I love, I love coming here. I love being part of the Akron Library chain and train, if you will. I got Mr. LaShawn over here on Doon Doon. Let's give him a round of applause from Canton, Ohio. Touring musician, one of the best musicians around in the world on keys, Mr. Robert Johnson. And let's give Miss Elizabeth a huge round of applause for that beautiful introduction. And all the staff at the Akron Library, we love you. I tried to get them up here to embarrass them, but they didn't want to come up. But thank you so much to all the staff. You guys work hard. You keep us all smart, and you keep us on our toes. Huge shout out to the sound men and the lighting crew here at the Akron Library for making us look so beautiful today on Zoom. We're going to play some music for you, and you're going to learn about a lot of rhythm today. Jimbe. Everybody say Jimbe. I hear you guys at home. One more time. Everybody say Jimbe. The Jimbe is from West Africa. It's made out of the skin. It's made out of goat skin. And it's wood on it. The bottom is wood. It's hollow, as you can see. It's made out of tree. Nice, beautiful carvings. This drum, particular drum, is from Mali, actually. This is a Mali drum right here. And it has the ropes on it right here. And this is goat skin on the top, what makes the sound. Different drums have cow skin. Well, cow skin is a little bit thicker. Cow skin goes on a drum called kungas. It's from, it, it, the kungas are from the Congo in Africa. But this sound right here, if you hear LaShawn playing the dun dun, the dun dun is made out of wood and skin. That's cow skin on the top of that, a little bit thicker. But he's playing the beat. Right now it goes do 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 rim, do 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 pop. Hear that? Do 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 pop. Now I'm gonna show you something over this rhythm right here that he's playing. I'm gonna do a bass. Everybody say bass. Everybody say bass. Aha. When me and my brother Olu started doing the libraries, brother Olu used to tell everybody about this drum. So I learned from brother Olu man. So thank you, big bro. This is called the bass, the middle of the drum. Hear that? Hear that? The second rhythm is called a tone. I put my, I put my fingers together real, real tight like this. And I pull my hand back and it sounds like it sounds like this. Do. Hear that? That's called a tone. Everybody say tone. Everybody say bass. Everybody say tone. The last one is my favorite one. It's called slap. But you only slap the drum. You don't slap nobody. You don't go around the house saying, hey, I'm going to slap you like the drum. You only hit the drum. It's a loud one. It's called the slap. You open your fingers up like this. So all three of these 
these rhythms together, you can make rhythms that go with Brother LaShawn, what he's playing right there. Now I'm gonna find bass tone and slap to play with this rhythm. together with bass, tone, and slap all together going with Brother LaShawn. Now watch this. So this is called the what? I think I heard you say it. This is called the what? The djembe. Can, who can spell djembe out there? Let me see. Who can spell it? What does the, what does the drum djembe, what does it start with? If you guess the right letter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you a prize if I know which one said it. <laughs> it starts with a D. The djembe, the D is silent. It starts with a D. This is called the djembe. Now moving on. So a long time ago, not a long time ago, about five years ago, and I just did the show two years ago, I did an off-Broadway show called Stump. Has anybody ever seen Stump in New York City? I did that show for 10 years. So I traveled around the whole world on off-Broadway, living in New York City. And before I got the job, I had to play in the subways for money. And I played buckets. I tap danced. I met up with some of the best people in New York City, and they showed me how to survive on the streets in New York City before I got my big break. These are buckets right here. My favorite instrument, next to congas. So now, Brother LaShawn holds it. He's holding that beat. Now let's give Brother LaShawn a huge round of applause. He's staying right there. Brother LaShawn, how old are you? He's 11 years old, y'all. On stage with his uncle Robert and his uncle Alec. Look at that. So now, am I still good? Is this still good? I didn't turn it off. Okay, great. So now, these are the buckets. Listen to the sound for buckets. Now, Brother LaShawn is going to stop. Watch this. One, two, three, and. Let's clap for him. Let's give him a round of applause, y'all. Thank you for clapping. 11 years old, you. So this is a bucket. This is the rim. Everybody say rim. This is the middle, the bass. This is the slack, kind of like the djembe, the snare. So when I, when you people, people, some people might have seen me at the Cleveland Cavaliers game. I play every game with the two on six sticks. I'm sitting right in the middle next to Julian Goldthwait, Josh Mitchell, Cameron. We entertain 20,000 people at these games. It's great. On commercials, we get to travel the world. And this is what we play. We play non-conventional instruments. But I learned this trait in New York City by the original first bucket drummer, Larry Wright. And then William Johnson took me under his wing and showed me how to play a bucket in New York City before I even got in stomp. And this is one of my favorite. And this instrument right here is Save My Life. But listen to the different sounds. Thank you guys, you guys are clapping for that. Wow, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So now, Brother Rob 
is going to start his own groove, and we're going to blend the piano. And the piano, the keyboard, what kind of instrument is a keyboard? Let me see if you guys know. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Piano, keyboard, is a percussion instrument. Am I right, Brother Rob? Piano is a percussionist because when you hit the, when you hit the key, right, Brother Rob? The things hit the sound. So a piano is a percussion instrument. It's beautiful. Brother Rob, can you give him just a sample of a run? Can you give him a sample, please? Yeah, yeah, everybody clap for that, clap for that. So Brother Rob, I want you to bring in something, anything you want. Brother Rob's going to go off the top of his head, just play anything, what he feels from his heart. Music is playing from your heart. Yes, you can read charts, you can have structure, but if you don't play from your heart, you're not doing it the right way. You have to love and you have to play from your heart. Everybody say, play from your heart. Say, play from your heart. All right, kids, I, I hear you guys. I feel you guys. I feel your energy. Brother Rob, give me anything you want. Now, me and LaShawn are going to join in with him. Watch. On my feet, I have tap shoes. Everybody say tap shoes. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? Two plates on my tap shoes. And this is a great art form. Now, I don't claim to be a great tap dancer, but I hold my own. I'm full of rhythm. My body is full of rhythm. Everybody say rhythm. Everybody say rhythm. Everybody say rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen to the sounds. See, LaShawn is doing a great job. He's holding it down. He has my tempo. Rob has the sauce. And I'm going to fill in the gaps.
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face is surely showing. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That move, what I was doing right there, is called a paradiddle or paddle and roll. Everybody say paradiddle. Say paradiddle. paradiddle. Say paradiddle. paradiddle. Paradiddle is dig, spank, step, heel. For all you dancers out there, you know, there might be tons of dancers out there watching right now who are tap dancing. You're like, man, I didn't know he was going to tap dance. Yes, paradiddle. I'll turn sideways. You can see. Dig, spank, step, heel. Say that with me. Say dig, spank, Step, heel. Dig, spank, step, heel. It's almost like a paradiddle with drumsticks. Let's on. Do you know a paradiddle? A single paradiddle? Do a single paradiddle. Uh-oh, you didn't know I was going to ask you that, did you? He's ready, 11 years old. Do a single paradiddle. Go ahead. Now give me this. Give me right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Left, give me that. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Yep, do that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Give me one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a paradiddle. So mine sounds like this. Play yours. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. Same thing, now play it on the drum. One, two, three, and. Can you do it a little faster? Can I challenge you to do it faster? Are you ready? Are you sure? Five, six, seven, and. Five, six, seven, and. Now watch this. I'm going to go by myself. Now watch how fast, everybody watching at home, watch how fast this is. I'm going to do a double and a single paradigm. Listen to the rhythms. It's all about rhythm today. Everybody say rhythm. rhythm. Everybody say rhythm. rhythm. Everybody say, it is the rhythm of the night. Uh, bro, bro, brother Rob, y'all know that song. You, you guys might not know that song. It's great by the barge. But watch this. Watch this. Paradiddles. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So now, Rob, give me some travel music. One, two, three, and four, Ben.
thank you so much. I hear you guys clapping. Wow, standing ovation. Wow, you're too kind. You're too kind. Stop it. Wow, 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 wow. You are too kind. Wow, thank you. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing? How you doing, little one? Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you guys so much. So now, you see all the different instruments, the different things going on. But now, last but not least, say I don't have no sticks and I want to play this bucket right here. Can I play it with my hands? Three guys saying, yeah, can I play it with my hands? Huh? Say it again. Oh, I can, right? Yeah, I can play with my hands. I can put it on the ground, play with my hands, everything, right? Watch this. I learned this from one of my best friends in the world, Chris Rubio. We made it into Stomp together from San Diego, California. And I did this in his own show that he wrote. This is amazing. This, this right here. This was my... When I did this on social media, I got a million views doing this, just messing around. And this is, this is kind of like, wow, how is he doing that? No sticks. No sticks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I see you guys clapping. But now, I want to talk to you guys a little bit. Like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about 2020 and now where we are today. How many people out there learned something new in 2020? What did you learn? just like Mr. Rogers, changing shoes. Brother LaShawn, can you uh, tell everybody out there one thing you learned that you're glad you learned how to do in 2020? Talk loud, too. Tell, tell them in the camera, right there. Um, learning how to protect myself. Wow, awesome. How to protect yourself. Awesome. So combat. What about drumming? Did you learn anything musically? How to keep tempo. And how do you keep tempo? You have to follow the music and follow the beat. Say that again? You have to follow the beat in the music. Ah! Tell them how old you are. 11. How long have you been playing music? Ever since I was a little baby. Oh, well. Everybody give a round of applause. Give a huge round of applause for Brother LaShawn. Clap for him, please. But in 2020, I know you people out there sitting at home are like, man, Brother Ellick, I remember 2020. 2020 was crazy. 2020 had a lot going on. What's one thing can you think of that you're glad that 2020 happened? I'm glad 2020 happened because it taught me how to not make, to, to make excuses even more. I didn't make excuses before. I was always strong-minded like that. But it taught me how to not make excuses even more. Moving on to 2021, today is like, wow, everybody is stronger. But I want to tell you guys something. Everybody made it out for 2020. You, we weren't allowed to see family. 
We went out to have participate. No library shows, no nothing. It was just like, man, we're at home. But it taught you how to be strong. It taught me how to be strong. I know that. But the number one thing for 2020, I'm glad it happened, is because you find I found myself even more. Does that make sense out there? Who all found themselves even more? You had time to think about it. Who, who got stronger out there? Did anybody in this audience get stronger? Did you get stronger? Anybody in this audience? Anybody at home? Did you get stronger? Did the sound man, did y'all get stronger? Our lighting guy, did you get stronger? I see the thumbs going up. They're great. They're a great sound crew. It looks great here in this theater. But you know how you got stronger and you didn't give up. You never, never give up. And you believed in yourself and you was resilient. Does anybody know what resilient means? I'll wait. Think about it. What does the word resilient mean? Anybody? I'll wait. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's think, I don't know the words. Of this beautiful day, and then it might as well stay. Could you be mine? Could you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbor. So now, in 2021, here's a couple things I want you guys to remember before we get out of here. I want you guys to know that you're stronger, you're better, you're more powerful. You know how to ask questions now. Always go into life not thinking that you know things. Listen, kids, listen. Listen to Brother Ellick really fast. Listen. Anywhere you go, make sure you ask questions. Don't ever feel ashamed about asking questions. And then, even in school, when you guys go back to school, everything's opening back up when you're in school. Treat people nice. Treat people nice. Treat people with respect. Everybody say respect. Say respect. Treat people nice. Don't ever make fun of nobody. Don't make fun of nobody's, the color of their skin, the clothes they have, the shoes they have, their hair, their glasses, anything. Treat people nice. Treat people how you want to be treated. And smile. And those adults watching right now with your children, that goes for you too. When you go into your workplace, you go to your job, you go to the grocery store, and somebody wants to be mean and nasty to you and be negative, still smile. Love, love, I'm going to say it again. Love conquers all. Love beats negative energy. Love beats hate. Love brings people together. Love shows respect. Try and learn how to love people. I'm not telling you to love. You got to love everybody in the world. But you can try to. Ha <laughs> ha. That's a good one. This is the shirt is from my buddy Ruben Rojas in Los Angeles, California, Hollywood. He does big murals all over Hollywood. He sends me his stuff because I love his brand. It's just love. It's simple. L-O-V-E. Love. But if you learn how to love, if you try to love, and you try to see the good in people, it's tough sometimes, I know. <laughs> but we got to try. And always remember, there's going to be somebody who's going to try to down talk you. There's going to be somebody who's going to try to not support you. Oh, well. Keep smiling and keep going. Keep smiling and keep going. Once again, African drum called the djembe. Starts with a what? A D. Starts with a D. Non-conventional instruments, buckets, tap dancing. This is called the dun dun. It's the sangbang. It's the middle. You have the dun dun, the sangbang, and the kinkini. This is the sangbang, the middle, the middle drum. You have the keyboard, piano, which is a percussion instrument. Piano is a per percussion instrument. Brother Rob is going to show you a lot of things are running up and down the keys. What, what, what he's playing right now, watch, listen.
Yeah, give Brother Rob a huge round of applause. Clap for him, if you will. Clap for him, if you will, at home. Ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause to Brother LaShawn, only 11 years old, y'all, and he's here with us on the Akron Library. I love this theater. I love this theater. Every time I'm in here, I love it. Beautiful. Brother LaShawn, wave to him. Say thank you. <laughs> and anybody out there, once again, like, this is just the beginning. We're starting to open everything back up. We're starting to get back to the swing of things with all the libraries. And I'm sure I will come to a library near you on the library tour that I always do where I hit about seven or six, six or seven different libraries. And I do one here. I do a show here always, like six or seven through the summer. It's coming back. But do not, and I didn't have to ask, and I, didn't, and I remember. Do not forget to sign up for the reading program at the main library on the Akron Main Library website. Um, yes, parents, please sign your kid up for the reading program. It's very important for, that, they, that they come here to the library. That way they can never say that they don't know nothing because the library is full of what? It starts with an I. And for Mation. That's right. Sign up for the reading program at the library. One of my stagehands, and what is the website? AkronLibrary.org. Did you guys get that? Write that down. AkronLibrary.org. AkronLibrary.org. Everybody who's watching right now today, us live right here. AkronLibrary.org. Sign up for the reading program. It'll be great for your children. It'll be great. It'll be great. And there's tons of more programs. Come down to the main library. If you have a library near you down the street, go visit it. It's an Akron branch. There might be some people on here who's not from Akron. And we thank you for logging on. We thank you for being a part of it. This might get shared. We don't know. But thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for being a part of this performance. Thank you so much. It's been great. It's been a great 40 minutes with you guys. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. And are there any questions out there today? <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I know everybody's raising their hand right now. I wish I could see you all, but I can't right now. I can't. But without further ado, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you to the Akron Library. My name is Alex Simon. You can find me on social media, on Instagram, at Alex Simon, E-L-E-C-S-I-M-O-N, or Twitter, at Alex Simon, E-L-E-C-S-I-M-O-N. Thank you to the Akron Library. Thank you to the sound people and the sound crew back here. Let's give them a round of applause at home. Drum roll, please, for the sound crew. And the staff, Elizabeth, let's clap for Elizabeth, our host for today. She was right here, but she's not here no more. <laughs> and thank you guys so much once again. We love you. Thank you. And we're going to play you guys out. Peace.
and we're out. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Where's she at? Where's Elizabeth? Has anybody seen her? She's not here no more. She's the MC for the hour. Where's Elizabeth? I know where she's at. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Ms. Burrier. Thank you, everybody, all the whole staff. Thank you guys so much. You guys treat me so good here. We love you. Peace.